Chevrolet Volt charging. All right, here's what I'm doing with headlights. I'm converting them from this, which is 9012. Was it incandescent, halogen, whatever bulb it is, whatever people call them, it was sitting in this headlight. What's funny, when you have daytime running lights on, this comes on and it's nice and bluish and it's LED. And then when you need your headlights, which is high beam and low beam, by the way, projector, this turns off, this comes on. Ugly yellow. Yeah, so today we're going to convert to a really great design. I've tried it on Chrysler 300. It has four chips all around. Perfect for projectors. It has a fan in here. It's hard to see, but it's there. And ballast. Everything should fit right in there. So let's see how I'm going to be able to put that in here. Today's haul right here. Notice how on the connector says plus and minus, positive and negative. Here, not to use a test or anything, yellow and black. And you see the clip goes right in here. Works, right? Actually, no. It goes this way. Okay. So, everything connected. Let's put this crap over here. Away. Now, you see how it looks? This is how it looks. So, this cap right here should fit right on it. However, we got a connector, we got a ballast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put that inside. There's plenty of space. Like this, like this, like this. So everything is in, you can see it. You can see everything is inside, right? All right, now we take the cap and put it on to see how it's going to seal. Oh wait, by the way, here. It's three pieces, so. Yep, it closed. Now, here's the main important part about it. I don't want to have this start overheating, even though it has a fan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a hole, maybe two, right over here. I'm going to do it. Here's my universal tool. Since I left all my tools somewhere else, and I want to have these on right now, uh, like this. Let's see. <laughs> nice and easy. That's it, back on here. You hear the click. He turned the car on. Not the car, the headlight. And let's check it out. right side of the car so here's the dilemma we got a air box and almost no room to put your hands however I can still open it up sort of 
sort of you just cannot take it off so let's try to take air box by just unclipping it whatever it is do we have any more nope actually kind of slides out let's see And look what I found here. K and N air filter. Really? Really? That's funny. Oops. This air box just pops off. You have to really yank this box up hard on that side because there's two pieces right here. You can see right here. And they are inside kind of like rubber grommet. This whole bottom air box comes just right out, no problems. And then you can take this cap off nice and easy. Okay, this goes right in here. And this goes in there. These wires are for the high beam side, like because this is high beam and low beam at the same time. Dang. Try to pack it in there. How are we gonna do it? We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna wrap this wire around the bottom, put the connector on the top, wire up uh, the wire again on the bottom, put the ballast with the connector through the top. Okay, now the cap. The cap is going to be punched again. Oh, sorry cap. cap so this is how it looks during the day from far to closer and this is night so this is how it looks from inside of the car when you have LEDs on and you're on the road you see it's dark this is how it goes this is low beam this is high beam so now you know the difference 